Hey again, it's uh, Brian Fields, uh, amateur radio call sign, W9CR. And it's been a while since I've done a video. I've been very busy with other things, but uh, had a uh, had a pretty cool thing come up uh, recently. I got um, I got one of these radios. Um, this is a uh, if you can see. Uh, it is a Motorola, uh, really beat up 1550. Got it for pretty cheap, but the cool thing about these uh, is much like the um, the CDMs that they replaced or well augmented. Uh, this right here is a CDM or not CDM uh, HT1250. It's a two line display, much more common radio. Uh, these were kind of the real high end ones, and they're neat. They had like a frequency readout. They had all kind of really extraneous information for commercial. But uh, one of the cool things they had was as they were the flagship commercial radio at the time um, they had FPP or front pad programmability which is again uh, in commercial radio big no-no can't have that and still be part 95 compliant uh, or excuse me part 90 compliant uh, so one of the things you needed on this though was um, all the firmware supported it however you needed a very special battery this is not the battery the special battery had uh, something in it, I forget exactly what now, um, that allowed you to enter FPP mode. Well, um, recently I, uh, uh, some people had figured out um, some of the stuff in older firmware, how to jump around it. Um, and in the newer firmware, uh, that was, you know, as soon as you'd upgrade it, uh, you'd lose your, your FPP without the special battery, which of course isn't made anymore. Motorola doesn't officially make the batteries for these. So, uh, figured out how to uh, edit it into the firmware that gets loaded on here. It works. Uh, I am not taking credit for this one. Uh, I had uh, some assistance from some other people out there. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's maybe 10 years too late, but it's a nice thing to have regardless. So I'll do a little demo here of uh, how it kind of all works together. But uh, kind of a neat thing. Pretty easy if you have a, um, a flashing cable. This is actually my favorite cable that I make. It's a five in one. You see it does, uh, well, let's see here. It does CDMs, uh, professional radio, another radio. I think they're a little cheap radios. Does the EX series with this little connector. You see it looks the same. But what if I added on these, if you can see there, is two little switches. Um, just, you know, epoxy them in there. Those, and I've also added an extra pin right there, and right there allows me to go to ground with it to be able to flash the radio. So this is not only a programming cable, but it's a flash cable, and it's FTDI based, goes right to USB, works, you know, all the time, every time, for the most part. I actually do all this on my, my desktop running uh, OS X with uh, parallels. So let me show you this radio. So this is the, uh, the XTS. As you can see, it's uh, no special battery. Um, and it's just a normal X, or excuse me, uh, XTS. I have an XTS I'm looking at down here. It's just a normal uh, radio. Uh, it's a HT1550 XLS. Uh, you can edit, use the same chirp software to edit these. Um, it's, it's uh, you know, 255 channels. The nice thing about these, you can have more than 16 zones in a channel. And, you know, it just goes like that. Um, lights up. I've been told the audio isn't quite as good on transmit. I don't know if that's true or not. I really haven't messed with it that much. I kind of always wanted to own one of these and just yeah, never had one. So I'll show you, you go in here. Um, I have everything turned on. Edit mode, edit, password is one, two, three, four. And then uh, there you go. And you gotta have edit mode enabled in the CPS for the particular personality you're, you're on um, but there you go you can you know set up that you set up your PLs uh, go to wideband or narrowband or uh, was it uh, 20 12.5 25 and 20 kilohertz so of course it's ham we're all wideband still um, anyways and then you know, when you're done go back and you're right there let's see does it key up should There we go. Then talk around. Talk. 
that's how you FPP without the special battery on a 1550. Anyways, I'll see everybody later. This is uh, Brian Fields, Amateur Radio Call Sign W9CR.